Okay guys, Friday night and we're here at the booth with the Model A. Let's take a look. Got to get a few things set up. Got all my paint and stuff over here. Brand new filters in the doors. Lovely, lovely. Ah, oh, there she be. Let's get some lights on. Lights, camera, and action. Oh, still got to set a few things up in here. My doors are hanging up. Got my deck lid there. Got my cowl over there. Got to set it up properly. Got my vent. Remember, I put a 32 forward vent in it. There she is masked up. Taped right to the ground too. Yeah. Grill shell, gotta still hang that up. A few things to do here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's looking good. You wouldn't believe how long this took Sean. Now normally some people would paint the body off the frame then put it on, but I wanted to put it on because I had plans on getting it running before paint. I want to do all that kind of stuff, but plans always change. So we're going to do it this way and it can be done. Sean is an excellent masker. This car is also wrapped underneath in plastic, believe it or not. So this here for him to mask was six hours today, six hours of masking, but it's all worth it. So um, I'm going to set a few things up and we'll uh, continue this video when we start uh, spraying. How's that sound? Okay. George is in here spraying some base. Let's check it out. We can't stay in here too long. I got no mask. There we go. Get out of there now because I don't like I said I don't have a mask on. What you see there, he's putting on the first coat of base, and you can see it covers really well. We did a black epoxy under it first. Uh, the reason we did that, the car is uh, in gray primer, so we do the black epoxy first. Uh, we didn't have to because this blue is so dark, but we do the black epoxy and then it'll give it the, the coats of the base coat, the blue. So if I happen to get a rock chip when I'm going down the road one day, depending. I mean, it could still hit, could break through, but hopefully the plan is that if it chips the blue, it'll go to the black first, so it won't be too noticeable. And uh, it's just a good sealer coat to put down on it, right? Uh, sometimes the gray primer, when we've done it, there'll be certain areas where we've sanded little corners in that where it might be a little bit of bare metal showing. So we like to put an epoxy primer down. So uh, yeah, that's it. You can kind of see the car through the window here, through the window of the booth. Kind of get a glimpse of her in there. So anyway, he'll, um, We'll let him do a couple coats of base and then we'll go in there maybe when he's uh, doing the last coat of base or some clear coat. Okay, we'll go check it out. I believe uh, George is on the uh, second coat of base. Maybe it's the third. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Should be. Here's our, we're using Matrix Edge. Some people ask what we're using. I don't want to get in his way.
right, we'll get out of here. Now, um, somebody was asking me what I'm going to use for clear. I've got this clear here we're using. Whoops, that's a reducer. We're using this Ultra Systems Elegance Clear Coat. It's a, um, so you go two parts clear, one part hardener, or well, hardener's there, one part reducer. It is a very, very expensive clear coat. This is the expensive clear coat. It is not cheap. My cost on that clear coat, and if you don't believe me, I would show you the bill if I had the bill. Wait a minute, do I have the bill? I do think I have the bill. My cost on that clear coat alone, I don't even know what it lists for. What was it listing at? That clear coat lists for, I don't know why it's not, I don't know, it's not, I'm not sure, but anyway, that clear coat alone was $1,000 for what you just saw back there. $1,000, my cost. Right there, if you see that, right there. $1,000. So, things have definitely gone up. That's a real good high-end clear, and uh, well, we'll see how it looks in the end, won't we? Because we'll keep you guys here and post it, and we'll keep continuing this video and get, a, uh, get another one up when we get a uh, coat of clear on there. Okay, guys, we're starting to shoot clear coat, and it is 11.30 p.m. We're just starting. Let's take a look. Now, I definitely cannot stay in here very long with the clear coat with no mask. I just can't take it. All you guys get <coughs> for now until it's all done so we're just starting the first coat now and uh, it's gonna be a while it's gonna be a few more hours obviously probably gonna be uh, finishing up around I'm gonna say probably 1 a.m. 1 30 temperatures are getting a little cool we got the heat on in the shop so but you turn the exhaust fans on it draws in the cold air from outside a bit but it's not bad in the booth it's um, it's 15 in there. Uh, if you want to convert that, what do you do? You double it. You make it 30. You add 30. So that's like 60 in there. So you know this clear coat prefers to be sprayed at 70, but uh, we'll see. I did get a medium hardener for it to you know to boost it up a little bit. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's it. And for those of you that are asking me about the color, um, it is a factory Ford 1931 blue. It's not Washington blue, it's called, I've got it written down here because I can never remember. <laughs> it's called, oh God, I don't even know how to pronounce it. And, and you sight, and you sight, blue. Just look it up, and you sight blue is what it's called. And it's a 1931 Ford factory color. Henry Ford said that this was actually blue, or black blue, because it's so dark. Um, most of the cars back then were Washington blue. This is kind of a rarity, this color. You don't see it very often. So it's a very, very cool color. So um, that's it. So we'll uh, continue this video when it's all done. We'll, uh, we'll get in there when everything's calmed down and we'll uh, see where it goes from there. Okay guys, as you can tell, my hair is cleaned up from earlier in this video. It's because I didn't do, I didn't finish the video last night when we were clear coating it to show at the end because it was just too fumey and too stinky. So here we are, we're back the next morning and we're gonna look the car over. There's the doors. You can see the reflection of everything in them. Doesn't the car look like it's black there? 
but it's actually blue. Absolutely no runs, no sags, no nothing going on. There we are. See that? What do you think of that? Three coats of base, three coats of clear, we're good to rock and roll. original 1931 Ford color. I'm trying to keep this car late 50s, early 60s kind of period correct build. Now is it 100% period correct? Of course not. Running a little newer transmission and I got some SoCal shocks on it, but whatever. You know what I'm saying. It's got that vibe, you know what I mean? It's got the vibe of the late 50s, early 60s, and that's what we were after. Even painted the inside of the doors here where you don't see. I'll be covered up with upholstery, hopefully. So there we go. I'll get this bad boy unmasked and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, here she is, she's all unmasked. Again, there's the deck lid. You can see the shine in there. God, it's like midnight. I just threw my wheels on real quick. She's still in the stand. These are my wheels for around town with the bias ply tires. The, the front, the rear ones, the front ones were my radial look-alike bias ply, and they were black rim. They're going to go on. They're going to. I'm going to run those when I run my slicks that are on a black rim. But I do have chrome wheels for the front with the same Firestone tires that are on the rear. There it is. See now, now it looks a bit blue. You can see the blue now compared to the frame. See that? There's my header pipes. So, uh, yeah, she's all painted up. And that was the Ford Wimbledon White I put on the firewall. So she is looking beautiful. So I'm going to play with it a bit tomorrow here on Sunday. Over at the, I'm over at my spray booth here. I'm going to leave it here. It's going to be staying here till Tuesday. Uh, just because this is where my wiring guy, Dan, who wired it, he works out of this booth also. Not the booth, but out of this shop. And he's going to tidy up wiring in the headlights and the alternator and all that on Monday. So the car is going to stay here. So I'm going to come over here for my Sunday fun day and put the headers and stuff on. So I will try and get you another video tomorrow. But that's all you get for today because I don't have much more to say or show you. All I can tell you is she is painted. That is it. And I am not polishing, wet sanding or doing anything to this paint job. I'm just leaving it the way it is. Because once you start to polish, you're going to get wax and crap all over the spot place. I mean, honestly, is it 100%? I mean, if you, it's just, it's gorgeous. I'm happy. I mean, obviously, if you look, you can, I don't know, you can see there's a little nib there. You know, it might be a little one somewhere right there. But that stuff will all come off when you just wax it by hand later in life. But I'm super, super happy. What have we got going on here? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Just some dust. Already getting dusty. <laughs> Okay guys, hey, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you, uh, well, I don't know, I just hope you like the car, that's all I can tell you, she's getting there piece by piece, look at the smile on my face, I can't wipe it off, I'll see ya.